Welcome to the dark side. In this multi-part video series, we're gonna take the filters off and dive deep into the shadows of twin flame connection, twin flame theory, and twin flame culture. Hello everybody and welcome back to the dark side. Today we're going to be talking about cults and false information. It was a really big and important topic around the twin flame concept, but anything around spiritual development and more. Remember, this series is here to help you to empower yourself to understand that there are two sides to every coin and that we don't necessarily need to reject everything just because humans have the capacity to distort it. <laughs> so for those of you guys that are just hopping into this series, welcome. I'm Dev. I'm Nicole. We are a Twin Flame couple, Twin Flame coaches. We're life strategists and we're spiritual teachers, right? We're really happy to bring you this series. And if you're just tuning in, please make sure you check out our previous videos so that you have really caught up um, to the full span of these. We're now getting towards the end. And if you have not caught um, our amazing free gift, bringing you through the <laughs> secrets of the Twin Flame journey, Please make sure you grab that. Link will either be in the bio or the description, depending on where you're catching this. Also, please make sure to like and subscribe. Help people know that you have found this video by liking it, sharing it if it feels aligned, and telling us what your biggest takeaway is from it at the end. Okay, so huh, big subject. This is a big topic. Right? So we're going to talk about this because a lot of you guys come to us, you know, uh, with comments about you know, trying to understand what is going on for you, relying very, very heavily on, on psychics, relying... Now, and I want to say right off the bat, I don't have any problems with people going to psychics or problems with twin flame psychics or anything like that at all, right? So this is really, remember, there are two sides to every coin. And in an industry, right, or in, I should say, a sphere where an industry has grown, where people have a lot of pain, Right? Yes. And there is a lot of trauma, right? There are those of us that are really here absolutely to help you to become your most empowered self. And there are others that prey, you know, it the truth is it is that predatory at times on your 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 fear, your pain, um, you know, and then they commodify this, right? Which is something that even our news and pop culture does, they commodify your pain and your weakness, which means that they advertise to it in a way that's really just designed to not really help you get anywhere, right? And so this is a super, super big topic, okay? And it, it's something that is critical for you to understand that as you are being supported to listen to yourself, right? So we will never tell you that this is the only way. We will never tell you there's only one way. What we, we will not tell you we're the only people that can help you. Now we're really good at what we do and we really stand behind the ethics of what we do, but we also support people getting help in any way that is going to benefit them. Yes. If there is trust and we are the people you come to and you feel aligned through our messaging and you create safety and trust with us, that's amazing. Yes. We would love to support you. But I'll tell people, even in a consultation, if there's a better fit for you, please go to that person. Absolutely. Okay? So just to know, whatever you choose in your journey, if somebody comes along and says, there's no other way, this is the way you have to do it, I invite you to run. <laughs> because there is no such thing, and I that can be an abuse of where you are and of your weakness, okay? And as I said, I, you know, I am myself am psychic. Um, I come from a long line of psychics and oracle, uh, sort of women who are prophets in many ways. And so I understand that. And I think that it can be very helpful. What I think can be disempowering is when you can get to a point where you are having such a hard time hearing yourself, yes. which is the core of what Nicole and I do is to help you hear and experience your divinity and your truth. When you can't hear yourself at all and you just rely so heavily on another person. And what I can say is in the twin flame sphere, people can become extremely, actually to the point of addicted to relying on twin flame psychics around that issue. Um, you know, and I, I, I said this in other videos, you know, raise your hand internally, take responsibility if this is you. Not because you need to shame yourself, but because you get to start the healing process by recognizing, whoa, Okay, wait a second. I have, I have like every time I'm scared, every time I'm stressed, every time I, instead of, you know, investing the money to work on my wounding, 
to look deeply in myself, to start to trust myself, to get through my stuff, I am looking for that external validation, quick hit, quick hit, quick hit, right? Again, for those of you guys in our community that are Twin Flame Psychics, we love you, right? I'm not saying this is bad, okay, right? Again, that isn't the point, so just listen in carefully, okay? Because sometimes when we get triggered, we don't hear what we're actually saying. Um, you know, what I'm saying is that when it gets to a point where what it's really doing is you're just looking for that confirmation hit of what you want to hear. I've had people message us and say, I have talked to you hundreds of psychics because I'm going, I'm just, you're just looking to find one that says what you want. I have talked to you hundreds of psychics because I need to know what my twin is doing at every moment. I have talked to hundreds of psychics because I need to find out if this is really my twin. Okay, if this is any of you guys are checking off these boxes, what you're really wanting to do is transition over to working on yourself, right? Where do you feel, you know, out of, out of control? Where are you not able to be present with yourself? Where do you need that confirm, you know, that comfort hit? Where can you not trust yourself? So this is a big area. Yeah, you know, and I, I do want to talk about cults a little bit because it's really important. And we've had people message us and, you know, they've experienced certain things where they'll be a part of a group and then get shunned or shamed for leaving. And you guys probably watch a lot of documentaries on different groups, you know, and some have abilities and gifts and using tools that work. <laughs> Right? They're good at what they do, yet there's that moment where there starts to be red flags, where there's manipulation involved, where there's uh, shaming involved, where there's, you know, d all those things. We need to just be aware, mm -hmm. right? And if you've actually been a part of something like that and there was things being used that worked for you, right? Methods, NLP, all these different things, it doesn't mean that those ways of uh, those tools are bad. Right. It means that some people take those tools and use them in a negative way. Right. There's often well, times where people again. go to re people go to a religion and they'll go to a church or something that is just going to devour them and make them feel like th God doesn't love them. That doesn't mean that God doesn't love you. It means that the people that are teaching it right, are telling you something that may not actually be true, right? And we need to, because here's the thing. When we start to do that, we start to miss out on what spirit has for us. Mm -hmm. We start to miss out on the tools that spirit has for us, right? And there's energies out there that want you to not have that belief, that want you, they, they want you to not be able to connect, to be disconnect. You know, we, we talked in our other video about how energies, right? These, these energies that really don't want you to have what you, what you want. They're causing right. chaos, right? There's energies that are causing that. And these are the way to break, break your spiritual connection, like truly break it to where you may not believe any longer. And you're able, right? To see past that. You really are able to see past that. And understand that humans distort things and that you get to still have those connections and you still get to grow and you still get to have belief in certain things. Yeah. Yeah, I really want to restate this because it just can't be said enough, right? So let's, right? So there are methods, philosophies, understandings, teachings, and tools. Symbols. Right. <laughs> that are all profoundly useful and very powerful, right? And that doesn't mean that somebody with negative intentions or distortions can't use those. But one of the biggest sort of pitfalls or risks in getting involved with a, a group or a leader or a teacher that really is there to distort things for you and cause harm or, or scam or manipulate or whatever it is that that intention is, is that it can rob you, as Nicole said, of faith and of connection to things that can really help you. And so the biggest work, if you have been involved in that, is getting support that you can trust again and really healing around these things so that you don't fully disempower your, yes. yourself by rejecting all the things, right? And when Nicole was talking about that, one of the things is a lot of times people come to us and say, how can you use the word God? 
because their experience of the word God, right? So I did not grow up with religion and Nicole did. And so because I didn't grow up with religion, I use the word God, it resonates for me in a very certain way. And I didn't realize that people had resistance to that word. Yes. And that resistance comes from a negative experience that they've had in a religion and an organization, right? And they've experienced that negatively. So they've abolished the whole concept because of their historical trauma or experience with something. Now, does that mean that God does not exist or is bad because you've had a bad experience, right? And it's up to you to decide what you believe about God, yep. but not from that train of logic, right? And so again, you know, maybe there's a method like, you know, anything, right? Breathing, let's just say a breathing technique and a breathing technique could be used to manipulate your hypnosis. But does that mean that those techniques are bad? No, they can save people's lives. They can help release them from trauma. They can help you calm your nervous system. And so, you know, really warning you to not go into full rejection of the divine and of the tools that are present here for you because of an experience that you had. Make sure you get professional support. Make sure you get guidance, whatever you need to make sure that you feel safe with that person. You know, there are amazing practitioners out there, amazing therapists, amazing coaches, amazing hypnotherapists, you know, so on and so forth, right? So get the right support to move yourself out of that. You know, and, and some red flags again to look for, right? If you're being fed fear, if everything is about like getting you to motivate through being scared, I'm not talking about bringing up your pain points. Like, hey, if you don't change your life, you're going to feel like shit. That's real, right? Yeah. I'm talking about motivating you through the terror of like, if you don't do this, you know, this horrible thing is going to come upon you or this or that or whatever, right? If you're being motivated through fear, if you feel disempowered in the space in the container constantly, if you are told that there is no other way for you to get to a point, to get to spiritual consciousness, to get to union, to get any of these things, except for to listen to this exact way of doing things um you know and we'll tell you things like truth is we've never seen people you know get into union that don't take responsibility for themselves and don't do their work right but that doesn't mean are there outliers sure right there are no absolutes but you know these are things to just become aware of paying attention to those flags and symbols and you know as i said how much are you becoming reliant on not just there's a distinction between looking for somebody to just give you guided answers and actually allowing yourself to engage in a course, a program, coaching, right? Really doing something interactive for you to get moving. So now this is a massive subject. And of course, you know, there is, you know, specific distortion right in the Twin Flame community, right? Right in the Twin Flame community, there is going to be. Why? Because there's going to be everywhere. And what better place to insert distortion than in places where people are, A, really at a critical point of their awakening or, you know, in important places like going into connection with your divine partner, understanding things about the twin flame journey, um, understanding your awakening, healing your wounds, yep. right? These are vulnerable places. And so there's a lot of distortion in those places. And that's why it's so critical that you have the right support. You take really good care of yourself. You're aware of these things. Yes. Don't let it create fear in you. Just be an empowered person and take some responsibility. I know some of you guys out there were like, whoa, I may need to chill on the, you know, 25 and, and i see this zero joke right like i have had people message me and say like i've talked to 25 psychics this week around the same thing right there's a difference between getting that healthy guidance allowing yourself to tune in here and there but also you know being able to listen to yourself and get that divine guidance from yourself and having the right coaches and mentors like nicole and i always have really good mentors and support for ourselves absolutely we recommend it for all of you guys um, but you know, this is using your discernment. So we're, we're bringing this subject up for you to realize there's some critical points in here and allowing you to just start the conversation with yourself and with discernment, right? There's a lot of amazing people out there doing a lot of good work. Yep. So you can find them, great psychics, great coaches, great mentors, great programs, like they exist out there, right? But also we got to check our own distortion. And when your distortions start to correct, you also won't find yourself lost in those experiences. Yep. And that is why we do our work. So I hope this video has been supportive for you guys. A big topic, big subject. Um, and if you are new to us, please make sure again, like I said, you like, subscribe, and let us know what your biggest takeaway is, right? This yep. big subject. You got a questions for us? Put that in the comments as well. Um, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.